Good afternoon. My name is Maciej Lesiak. I am a professor of cardiology in Karol Marcinkowski University of Medical Sciences in Poznań, Poland. And I'm a head of the department of cardiology in that university. Uh, being here in, in Egypt, just want to share some of my thoughts about, you know, uh, awareness of public awareness uh, of uh, coronary artery disease or uh, atherosclerotic dis diseases, uh, which is more and more common. Uh, the disease is more and more common in the civilized uh, countries. Uh, so uh, we all know that uh, what are the risk factors uh, uh, related to uh, coronary artery disease. Uh, for me, risk m number one. Uh, is smoking. In Europe we have a great achievement with reduction, reducing uh, smoking habits. So we, we, at least in Poland, we observe that less and less, still too many of course, but less and less people smoke. Uh, I don't know exactly what is uh, in your country, but definitely smoking is something that should be abandoned and should be quit. And uh, uh, what any society should do is to introduce a public campaign uh, to reduce the, the smoking because smoking is clearly uh, very um, directly correlated with the mortality, early premature mortality among mostly young men but also young women. And by the way, uh, not many people know that women from the certain age uh, are more prone to cardiac diseases than, than men. So. Uh, as long as, uh, uh, as, long as uh, the, way the, the, the women uh, uh, can, ha can have children, then they, of course, they are protected, hormonally protected. Uh, but after, uh, after climacterium, uh, the protection ends up, and women are more prone in the older age to coronary and to heart disease than men. That's, that's another thing. Uh, the second issue is, of course, uh, the cholesterol which is a very uh, high risk uh, factor. And it, it is related to our diet, of course. But if uh, you, some, uh, many of us have some genetic uh, uh, variation uh, that even if they eat, uh, say, healthy, they have elevated cholesterol. So for men about 40 and women about 50, 55, I would recommend to check cholesterol because even if you think that you are on a diet and you eat properly, you may have very high cholesterol. And of course, what counts is LDL cholesterol, not total cholesterol, but LDL. And we found in multiple studies a direct linear correlation between the level of LDL cholesterol and the risk of acute myocardial infarction, uh, stroke or death. So this is um, something uh, very, very important. And the third Think, I think uh, I think especially important in this region of, uh, of the world is the risk of diabetes, which is of course again genes but also um, a diet because diabetes, especially when it comes in the early I'm, I'm talking about type 2 diabetes if it comes uh, the disease come in an early age uh, is, uh, is, is very very uh, significant risk factors of progression of any atherosclerotic disease and also uh, risk factors of events like uh, myocardial infarction, infarction and stroke. Uh, so I think that those three, uh, which is smoking, cholesterol and diabetes, uh, they are very, very important factors and we can still can do a lot about this. Uh, and the fourth one, uh, and for today, for, to, for tonight perhaps the, the, the last one I want to mention is just physical activity. Yeah? So do what you can to be very active, uh, to not not to sit all, all the time in front of your computer or, or, or TV. Or TV. Uh, I can only recommend you to do some 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 even minimal kind of sport like like walking or, or, or jogging or, or, or running whatever, because it's also very very uh, we can we can this kind of activity we can call a life saving behavior because we know that people who are active, who uh, take up sports uh, long, much longer than the people with the very, very bad habits like sitting all, all, all day and, and uh, not moving. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.